This is another in our series of videos covering topics that are also covered in our Alzheimer's guide uh, that you see me holding up. I invite you to uh, get a copy from us. They are free and if you are uh, going through the Alzheimer's journey, either personally or with a family member, I think there's a lot in there that you'll find to be very helpful. Uh, what I want to talk to now is about the need for single people with Alzheimer's to engage in some very particular legal planning that's going to be of great importance to them as they go through this journey. First, uh, it's essential to do the planning early enough in the journey that nobody will question whether you have the legal capacity to sign important documents. So you need to leave, be a little bit ahead of it. Um, documents that you need, you need to have powers of attorney for play, in place, both for property and health care, because you will reach a point in the journey where you will need somebody else to help you to make decisions. And those need not to be just canned documents. They need to be very personalized documents. This is enabling somebody to speak for you. They're going to be your voice. And you want to be uh, very careful and, and give a lot of thought to how they're going to be your voice. Another thing that needs to be done is that you need to be mindful that if you have Alzheimer's, you are at tremendous risk of eventually needing to spend time in a nursing home. Nursing home care is really expensive. It can cost you your life savings. Um, people who wait until the end to plan, we can still help, but our ability to help successfully is much greater if the planning is done early on in, in the process. So that's something that can be done with care and with very successful results. Thanks.